Hello everybody and good morning. It's 8.25 my time a.m. in Iowa. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe if you like. Hit the like button if you like. If you don't, that's okay too. No problem. Okay. Share if you like. That's okay too. Alright. Well, I've got a short video here pretty much, I think. Um, there was a statement made, pain to save us more pain. Hmm, well, that's okay. Border Patrol says five million have entered our country in just a few days. Yep. $114 million from the Ford Company is supporting the immigration. Yes. But they cut 3,000 jobs and sent them to Mexico. Oh my goodness. Bring the jobs back to the United States where they belong so our people can get back to work and make good wages to at least sustain a good living life and support their families, their wives, their children. For heaven's sakes, my gosh. Federal government goes toward crashing the U.S. economy to avoid a depression or recession. Now let me read that again. Federal government goes toward crashing U.S. economy to avoid a depression or recession. Okay. So, you know what that means. Less jobs for the people. The workers will be losing. Well, the Republicans are 78% now at maybe possibly keeping the House. And Democrats are 66% maybe keeping the Senate. Okay. And Musk says there's a good chance of a global collapse. Don't it just keep getting worse? When is the better going to kick in? <laughs> you have to sit back and just say, hey, when's it going to straighten up? Is it ever going to straighten up? Oh, boy. All right. Joe Rogers smashes verbally Democrats wants everyone to vote Republicans. You vote what you want to vote. It's your decision. Okay? Now I need to apologize. And I feel belittled in a way because I was going by Biden's speech. You know, the college loans. $10,000. Yes, they're done. It's going to happen. No, it ain't. Not yet. Not yet. I have to put a little sentence in here. The president doesn't run the country. And we all know that. Congress runs the country. Congress tells Biden what to say. How to act. What to do. Yeah, so now Biden's backing out, possibly, just possibly, though. So just remember, it's possible. But he is trying to back out now of helping the college people. Ugh. Teeter-totter. Up and down. Just like a merry-go-round in my last video, I said, <laughs> when's it going to stop? Is it going to be or is it not going to be? Oh my goodness. Mm. Student loans now will be headed for court to decide. Now what's the court got to do with it? Are they going to decide if, if they should pass the student loans or not pass them? Oh my goodness. 
you know, but right here, it says Congress can pass the student loans, but no, el no one else has the right to pass it. So now it's possibly going to go to the courts. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Oh my God. <laughs> oh Lord have mercy. Well, the violence is getting so bad into the second day of the deepening of chaos. The Ukrainians, oh my goodness. God love the innocents that's getting involved and getting killed in all this mess. It's, it's just something else. Just something else. The reason that violence is getting so bad and to the second day of the deepening of chaos is decisions of the government on their part, I guess. Don't ask me. I just read the articles and pick what I want to pick and throw away what I don't want to pick. <laughs> yeah, it's caught up in this crazy wars. Ukraine launching, launches, launching, uh, whatever, counter of, oh, something or other, uh, wanting to take back the land and the nuclear plant and more to come. And that is what they have been hit with right now with that bomb. Destruction of Russia toward these poor Ukrainians is horrible. Another nuclear they fear is on the way. Yeah, Russia, Russia's already hit, or Ukraine hit, uh, Russia with a nuclear. Now they think another one is coming. Oh my God. 60 to 80,000 have lost their lives. What a waste. What a waste. Ukraine is fighting hard to save themselves. 137 troops, no matter the age now, Biden has come up with to be deployed to Ukraine. Age, what does that mean? They're going to start uh, getting 16 and 17, 18 year olds involved? That one just floored me. I sat here and, and my mouth dropped open and I'm going, age? So what does that say? That means probably teenagers. More so than what sign up to begin with to join the Air Corps, the uh, whatever, you know, Army. Uh, oh, jeepers creepers. I'm lost for words. No words. I just, I can't, uh, I have to keep track of that one. Because I want to know just how young Biden is setting up this deal to deploy our children, our teenagers. 137 troops. Oh, that's 1,000. Oh, I'm sorry. 137,000 troops, no matter what age. Oh, good Lord, have mercy on us. Prayers all over the countries are needed for the Ukrainians. They are be being beaten down, but boy, they're fighting back hard. God love them. They're fighting back so hard. Well, if Trump is found guilty, Lindsey Graham says the riots will break out all over the country if they find Trump guilty. They better stop and think, if you do wrong, and if Trump did wrong, and he is found guilty in a court of law, he's got to pay the price. We all pay prices for what we do wrong. 
so the rioters better stop and think before they decide to cause more chaos in this situation of Trump. Oh my God. Mm-mm-mm. Yep. And if we nominate Trump, we will get destroyed. <laughs> oh my goodness. War one, World War Two. Now we keep getting into possibly World War Three. I don't know. I don't know. Well, today is Tuesday. Hopefully, I will be getting my new glasses, anti-glares. I'm praying they're going to work. I am praying. Because it is the glare on my glasses I see on the video, and I have to keep pushing them because they're crooked for some reason. I guess my head's crooked. <laughs> But anyway, on a happier note, I can't wait to get them. And I'll see if they will cut the glare. I hope so. Well, there's not much more on my part to say. I'm getting a little tired of all this chaos in the government. Countries. Civilians. Rioters. You know, it, it's just getting too old. I think I need to look for another niche instead of reporting the news, which everybody can always read anyway, you know. But this is the way I started out. And uh, I'm interested in some of it, but then in some of it I'm not. So it's time for me, like I said in one video, get away from it. It's, it, it's dragging me down. Yeah, it's dragging me down. It's dragging the way I think about things. And how I get disgusted at things and I just don't need that so I don't know exactly what I'll do I thought about setting up my canvas and start my uh, acrylics on the canvas I've already started because I didn't like the way I started it in the first place but I can paint over that it's no problem and I enjoy doing that but with three four-legged dogs, two four-legged kitties. They've got me up and down, up and down, up and down. How would I do that? No. I'm not sure yet what I'll end up and do. Because I don't know. I just don't have anything to say about anything. It's coming down to zilch. You know what I mean? It's coming to the end. I read a little bit here and I read a little bit there and I get so upset and it's not worth it. It really isn't. It's just like I said in another video, you know, que sera, que sera. What will be, will be. We can't stop it. There's no sense in us driving ourselves crazy, thinking about it, going to bed, possibly dreaming about it. It's just, I never thought that I would live in this situation in my lifetime. But I was born in 1943, and I believe that was just about the end of World War II. I do believe that, yes. And then we went into the, the late 40s and the 50s and the 60s and the 70s. Them were the good old days. Them were just worth living through. And I'm so grateful I got to do that. Made a lot of mistakes. Oh, yeah. A lot of mistakes. But, oh, well, haven't we all, you know? Rock and roll music. And, oh, skinny dipping. Oh, I never did that, though. No. Not me, but it happened. And uh, what was that? Um, oh, shoot, I can't remember right now where they had that... Uh, big uh, hula baloo music thing it should come to me because I just saw something a picture of where they were at this 
big musical thing of all the 50s and 60s and 70s. Oh my goodness, I can't think of it. But anyway, yeah, but uh, that was something else. I'm glad I didn't. Woodstock. Yeah, Woodstock. I'm glad I didn't get to go there. Yeah, I wouldn't have liked that at all. No. Half of them didn't have any clothes on, and oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not for me. Okay, everybody. I'm going to say goodbye for now. I've got a little girl down here. Angel Pangel is what I call her. And uh, she seems to be wanting to go outside, so I better tend to her. That's what I mean. I'm up and down, up and down all the time. But I'll see if I can find something interesting to come back with in my next videos. But I can't promise nothing. If there's an emergency come up, then I will probably say something about that. But y'all have a great day. I've been up since 3.30 a.m. Because I went to bed so early, this humidity. I can't handle the humidity here in Iowa. And it has been 80, 90, and 100% day in and day out. And even at night, if it gets cooler, the humidity is still up there. I opened up the back door to the doggy pen to let the dogs out this morning. And water was dripping off the roof, and it's not even raining. <laughs> but I just get so tired, and I went to bed so early last night, and I'm a night owl. I'm up until 2. I go to bed about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Well, I work the second shift as a nurse's aide for almost oh, probably over 20 years. I did private nursing, nurse's aid. I did uh, nursing homes. I did hospitals. Yes, and I always had the second shift. And once in a while I doubled up and did the third shift on top of the second shift. And I'm just used to being up all night long. And I have never broke that. And um, it, it kind of gets me down once in a while. But anyway, God bless all. Bye. Have a great day. God bless. Keep faith. Bye.